John Ruer. I've been practicing medicine, emergency medicine, primary care for 33 years now, treating lots of disease and learning what it takes to prevent disease. The F-35 is bad for our health. After its hearings and study last fall, the Burlington Board of Health had this to say. The Board of Health has concluded that noise has been associated with hearing loss, stress, sleep disturbance, heart attacks, high blood pressure, stroke, and delayed reading and comprehension. The Board of Health has concluded that aircraft engines produce numerous toxic combustion byproducts. And the Board of Health has concluded that every aircraft carries a risk of crashing and that there is an unknown safety rating on the F-35. We also know that the Environmental Protection Agency and the Federal Aviation Administration believes there's enough scientific evidence to say that the noise that the F-35 will produce over a very large area is incompatible with residential living. The City of Burlington believed this enough to spend 39 million taxpayer dollars to purchase homes exposed to the much smaller noise area of the F-16. This plane is bad for our health, period. I have found no debate on this. What needs to be quantified better is how bad. The purpose of this resolution is to give us time to determine how bad. I've heard it said repeatedly that the F-35 is no noisier than the F-4 Phantoms when they were here 40 years ago. Clearly, people were not dying in droves then. It was okay then, it must be okay now, right? Wrong. No one was looking at health effects back then. We do know that in the last 40 years, deaths from heart attacks, attacks have dropped dramatically. And that most of that is due to things like decreased smoking and health behaviors and better medical intervention. But much of the improvement is still unaccounted for. We are still looking for the explanation of why people have heart attacks when they don't have diabetes, high cholesterol, smoke, or have high uh, blood pressure. The one thing that researching this issue has taught me as a doctor is that noise levels are very likely to be one of those risk factors we're looking for. So my question today to the legislature of Vermont is do we want to take the state back to a less healthy time? Allowing this plane to come here would be like telling people to go back to smoking and eating pork rinds. Whatever you can say about the benefits of the F-35, you cannot, from a medical viewpoint, say it is good for our health or the health of our children. And even if you believe that this plane somehow contributes to our political safety or to our economy, the precautionary principle of avoiding potential harm to the public health until the risk benefit is shown more clearly requires that we not accept the risk of this aircraft in this first round of basing. Vermonters have a right to enough information to know just how bad likely harm is to befall them in order to make the decision about whether they want to accept that risk. And this resolution will serve that purpose. Thank you.